How often are you looking for scripts to purchase? Constantly. What's your process? Where are you looking? I'm looking right now for a script uh, for my next movie and working on ideas at the same time. Um, we've had some bumps in the road. I, I tried to option a book. We got very excited about it. And it turned out that the book was uh, entangled in another country, uh, even though the rights had run out. Uh, the other country had a tax credit for the film and gave them advanced funds, which I didn't know this, but legally terminate any kind of future purchase because the money's already in play. Wow. I never knew that. It's fascinating information because yeah. I would never think that either. You just, these are all things that. I don't think the writer of the book knew that either. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. So, so once you found out that that's probably a no-go, at least Which for now. Which was a week ago. What's a week ago? Okay. <laughs> the, how do you kind of get back on the horse and start looking for something? I started new? immediately. You know, a filmmaker typically doesn't have just one project that he's interested in doing. In my case, I have a pretty important mandate. I'm only looking to do projects that are. Um, um, personally beneficial to the world. <laughs> and I'm not talking about pollution or something like that. I'm talking about a meaningful project that, that would uh, help people engage uh, and, and, and see things. The filmmaking is so brilliant. I just saw a great movie, I can mention it, called The Insult. And it is, it's a masterpiece. Why is it a masterpiece? Go see the movie and you'll understand because it talks about, you know, it didn't matter that it was filmed in Lebanon. What mattered to me was it could have been anywhere. And whether you're talking positive about politics or negative, it could have happened anywhere. And it was not a true story. It was fiction. But the way it was filmed and the way it was written uh, really tells a great story about tolerance and talks about hatred. And when, when you see a film like that and you walk out, you, you're, you're affected in a way almost Shakespearean. And um, that's the kind of films that I want to make. Films that viscerally help you understand the world more and maybe make you more tolerant, maybe make you more perceptive. And you know, certainly filmmaking is one of the best vehicles um, um, other than speech. And to me, or a book, a filmmaker, you know, really has an opportunity to tell a story. And uh, with the, the belief, n not in a purposeful preaching, but the belief is you'll walk out and you'll have a perspective you might never have had.